He pretends like he's gonna push play, like a bluff, and if things couldn't get any worse, we now have Miss Seekin's attention. I make eye contact with her, and she makes eye contact with me. And as soon as she starts yelling at me, Micah plays the video, bro. Man, what's up, y'all? What it do, man? It's your boy, Count him, bro. Night, bro. Day. Oh, shit. I hey, got two of my bros in here. We got Sticks and Eli so fly in the video together bro all right today we're gonna be right into i got caught watching spicy videos in clay anime store come here come here come here i hope you're talking about ice spice because if not i don't know what he's talking about I, we don't do them activities over here y'all we get christian chilling ain't that right on only thing we we like spicy is spicy food and ice spice you know what i'm saying so yeah we about to go ahead and get <laughs> i am a horrible person Y'all ever been caught watching those bad videos? Y'all know what videos I'm talking about. Don't try playing dumb with me. And one of the worst things that could ever happen to you is getting caught lacking. Not only were you caught lacking, you were caught lacking with a horse being involved in this video. Why? Because you're a freak. And not only were you caught being freaky, you were caught being freaky in class. And that's exactly what happened to me in eighth grade. So a little backstory. I went to a Christian private school from third grade to sophomore year. And no, it's not because I'm wealthy. It's because my stepdad worked there. And since he worked, there i had some special access you feel me and in my parents eyes this was a great opportunity but what my parents didn't know i was already chilling at the public school had my own operation going damn near a mob boss shooters i got that women i got that sports i don't got that what i'm trying to say is i already felt good that time you played sports i mean something happened i'm just saying like i ain't forget i'm i ain't forget i mean something happened but at this school it was like my second home so when my mom offered to switch me schools i looked at my mom smiled and it was like my second home. Sports? I don't got that. What I'm trying to say is, I already felt good at this school. It was like my second home. So when my mom offered to switch me schools, I looked at my mom, smiled, and as 21 Savage once said, I never switch on my enemies or my bros. And she said, I'll take you to the movies. Alejandro, my man, we had some good times together, bro. Remember those times I beat you on the tether ball? <laughs> Daisy, senorita, I will miss you. You will forever be in my heart. But I think it's time to let you go in, let you fly. Hey, hey, Ron, hey, my brother, brother, hey, I'm gonna miss you the most, big dog. Awesome, real Dude, who are you? I don't even know you. Shut up, A Ron, don't ruin the <laughs> moment. Goodbye. Who is he? Shh. <laughs> Adios. And I bounce on some Prince of Bel Air timing, you feel me? Years past, I'm in eighth grade now, and I basically know everyone there. It's a small school. But even though this was a small school, I was struggling to feel a part of it. It just didn't feel like a second home. And I wondered why for so long until I realized I was the only Mexican there. Like, finding a person who wasn't white at this school was harder than finding a good Asian driver. Harder than finding a black person who can swim. Harder than finding a Mexican person who doesn't mow lawns for a living. Harder than finding an Indian person who doesn't work at at AMPM. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, I was one of the only Mexicans at this school, and there were plenty more differences I started noticing, such as their financial situation. While I was out here sleeping in the living room couch, these guys had mansions. I'm talking about guest rooms. How is that a thing? And don't get me started on these guys' cars. Every morning, I would see a Porsche, a Maserati, a Challenger. It was honestly dope, not finna lie. Until it was my turn. Love you, baby. Have a good day at school. Mom, I'm not a baby. I'm 14. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, young man. Please, shh, just don't embarrass me. Excuse me, moi? I know you did not just shush me, and it made it hard for me to relate. I felt like an outsider. And eventually, I became what someone would call a hater. And I let that anger, hate, and loathe just cook up in a nice pot until hate leads to anger, anger leads to suffering. So I met Micah, and I'm still a hater, but at least I had a good friend now. Now Micah was what some would call a legend. Bro would get in trouble for things that were so avoidable, it was crazy. I mean, the amount of exercise this guy broke was unmatched. He would break hundreds of thousands of, okay, 20 to 30. But still, <laughs> this guy was a menace. That's not even including the water bottles this guy threw at kids in the hallway for no reason whatsoever. Ow, who hit me? I mean, this kid would climb fences when teachers were talking to him. And it kind of sounds like Micah wasn't fully there in the head. You feel me? Like he had some disability. But no, this motherfucker knew what he was doing. He was 100% there in the head, 100% conscious. This man was a demon. On some NBA right, sound like that. Timing, Black Air Forces right, before they were even a thing. And the only explanation I could come up with for him doing such things was he didn't care what anyone thought, which is why I probably got along with him so well because I didn't have to act cool or act like I had all this money. I could just be goofy sticks and he accepted me for it and i know you're probably thinking wow sticks this is a great video i love it but what is bro just change your name to goofy sticks 
this have to do with you getting caught watching don't worry, I'm getting to it. I'm just building up the story. It's fourth period P. Hell, I forgot about that. And our teacher was sick this day. So they moved us to the study hall room. And the teacher watching us was a legend as well. But not a good one. One like a chupacabra. Uh, Miss Seekins, I'm here to return my book. Ah, uh, yes. Come here. So are Karen. I don't know. I got to go to soccer practice and it's kind of dark over there. You know, I really have to get going. Come here, please. Please. I need to check something. Oh, nah, she tweaking. You know, I'm doing really fine up here. <laughs> She was also a little trigger happy, but I don't blame her because if I was a teacher, I'd be trigger happy as well. So as soon as we walk in, she's tripping, talking about quiet class. I will allow inside voices. That is it. I sit next to my boy, Mike and Alex, and they're just talking while I'm doing homework. When all of a sudden, Mike and Alex decide to get a little louder and louder. And eventually, since they're getting louder, the whole class gets louder. Miss Seekins has had enough. She's old. She's cranky. She's been here since the dawn of time before mm. dinosaurs were extinct. She has every right to be mad. So how did she survive? Silence! I give you permission to breathe oxygen in my classroom and this is how you treat me the punishment bitch you don't own the oxygen for the next person caught talking will be the walk of atonement Woo! Look at that flat cheeks Shame. five minutes is all i'm asking obviously <laughs> she didn't say that because that would be illegal she said we'd be written up but for suspense the walk of atonement will be your punishment <gasps> Everyone's freaking out. No one cared. And the classroom goes mute. That part's true. Everyone then's doing what they're supposed to. Until I see Micah. Micah has the biggest smile of all time. And him being the menace he was, I knew I was fun. I then look at Alex. And Alex looks like he's trying to not burst out laughing. Because of what he just seen or heard. And even though I had no clue what they were up to. I started wanting to laugh. Because laughing is contagious. Then I see Micah do something unbelievable. Unbelievable. He pulls out his phone. The volume is fully up and it's a pause video of a woman and a horse doing the My mind's telling me no, but my body. Oh wait, R. Kelly was canceled, huh? There was Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. It's my mind telling me no, but my body, my body telling me yes. Basically bumping and grinding, you feel me? And when I seen this, I was bamboozled on how this was possible. At the same time, terrified. Because I knew if this man played this video, my stepdad, who's a teacher at this school, will be notified about this within the next couple of minutes. So I'm like, Micah, come on, man. You're going to get us in trouble. Are we really, though? This motherfucker. Bro, she's right there. I'm not trying to get yelled at when I get home. Chill, player. You going to get old worrying too much. I swear, bro. What do you trust me? Tr tr trust me i got this and me looking back at it this was a horrible decision because me telling him not to do it was like me begging him to do it so he pretends like he's gonna push play like a bluff and if things couldn't get any worse we now have miss seekins attention i make eye contact with her and she makes eye contact with me and as soon as she starts yelling at me micah plays the video bro and everyone's laughing in class i'm laughing my classmates are laughing hey she's definitely not laughing she proceeds to walk my way Micah turns off the video because he ain't finna get caught lacking. And she just lets me have it for like three minutes non-stop. And she asks, what's so funny? Uh, nothing, Miss Seekins. Then why are you laughing? I don't even know. Well, obviously there was something funny because you disrupted my classroom. So tell me, what is it? I really don't. I mean, tell me he didn't because y'all ain't doing shit. No. Sticks, just go sit over there. And it's funny because I was the only one that was moved. And then Micah being Micah got moved because he was caught talking five minutes later. Class ends. Me and Micah have a couple laughs. And then I go to my next class. And my stepdad being my only ride to school, it was only a matter of time before I had to see him. So when school ends, I walk to his classroom, knock on his door, it's open. Oh, hey Sticks, let me talk to you for a second. I heard you got in trouble with Miss Seekins, is that true? Yeah. Well, why is this happening? Well, I was just talking in class and, you know. So was that it? Uh, yeah. Alright, you're not mad? No, I'm just disappointed. Let's go home. Let's freaking go, boy. <laughs> and just like that, I got away. And I really think God was watching over me. Because he never mentioned the horse... And maybe Miss Seekins did tell him. Or maybe she didn't. Either way, I didn't care. Sadly, this is one of the only stories I had with Micah because he left the school that year. The school told him that if he stayed, the next time he had a suspension, he would have gotten expelled. So obviously he bounced. And eventually, I was back to square one. Until I made a new friend group. And then we committed Grand Theft Auto, crashed the car. But that's for another story. With that being said, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to sub. Goddamn now, nigga. Look, now make up your goddamn mind. Do you want to be a nigga without a dick?
Or a nigga caught watching porn. Now your way of pulling GTA stunts. God damn. Man. Like and comment. Add my Insta. Reach out to me. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm starting to think this nigga meant to got down a man decided to do cause bitch how the hell you doing these things now this, this, this ain't adding up now you doing a lot of shit and we just in the 8th down down grade now I'm just saying man but hey man if y'all like this video man don't forget to like comment share subscribe comment down what y'all wanna see and we out